Just cheese and onions, amen? And all of a sudden, every time I go, I hear the lady tell the cook. Yes. Uh, she writes something on a pad. And she turn around and tell the cook. You know, it's the same cook at every Waffle House. I was, you always know he cooking because he smoked a cigarette before you come in. Y'all ain't hearing me today. But I heard the lady say, I need one order. Uh -huh. No, how did she say? Yeah. Uh, I want the, 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 the uh, what is that thing called? The, the, the all-star. Oh, y'all didn't hear me today. I, I want an all-star. And the way I want the all-star, I said, give me the hash browns, smothered uh -huh. and covered. Uh -huh. There it is. Y'all should start shouting right there. there and I just got this thing made up in my mind today that no matter how angry the enemy is, that when God put my order in, he said, I ordered your steps. He said, I already provided you a menu. And he says, I've already decided you are smothered and covered with the blood, by the blood of Jesus. Tell me who can stand be for us when we call on that great name. If you're not ashamed, say Jesus. Jesus. Come on, say Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on. Come on, y'all. See the blood. And after a while, let me tell you something. 
for everybody that think you're in the clear, how many of y'all know we're going from glory to glory? And you know, it's mighty funny how we think that when we went through the biggest trials of our life, that somehow we done, amen. And then I hear the Lord saying, I still got you. I still got you. I still got you. When the enemy see you, he won't see you at all. He'll see that you're smothered and you're covered today. With that being said, tell me who can stand before us. When I call on that great name, Somebody ought to say thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That great name. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, precious. Jesus. Amen. I dare you to just say thank you, Lord. I dare you to praise him right there. I dare you to praise him in spite of. I dare you to bless him anyhow. I dare you to clap your hands anyhow. Hey, hallelujah. The song said, though Satan is raging. Oh, he's mighty man. He's mighty man. I like what they told me. We cannot be defeated. We have the power. It's in the name of the Lord. We got it too, y'all. Oh yeah, we got it. Though Satan is raging, we cannot be defeated. I've got the power. It's not in my name. Not in my responsibility, not in my title, not in my color, not in my position, not in my money, but it's in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Here's what I have to tell you, and if you're anything like me today, you're going through something. Here's what you got to just tell the devil. No more threats from you. Come on now. No more threats from Satan. Hallelujah. If you're bad enough to kill me, then come on and do it. Come on now. Come on now. Some of y'all say, I ain't saying all that. Let, let me just say it. I want to make it clear. Satan, you don't get to make any more threats. If you got enough power to take us out, then stop pumping your gums and go on and do it. But see, there's a problem, and you know I know it. Before the foundations of the world, before we were in our mother's womb, he called us Hallelujah. and you can only do uh -huh. what God has assigned you to do Come on now. so I guess you're going to have to stand by and watch Come on now. the wonderful works of God yes, and here's the part that make demons mad I want to make a few of them mad tonight today I'm a big bag of dirt Come on now. Come on now. every demon that can hear me today dirt you're looking at dirt that's going to get victory over you. Come on now. Amen. And it won't be the dirt. It'll be the power of Jesus that's in that dirt. Yes, Lord. And he's going to use that dirt so that when he does what he's going to do, Hallelujah. everybody will know that if it had not been for the Lord on my side. Somebody shout right there. Everybody, just stretch your hand out to your pastor. Amen. Just say, Lord, we love our pastor. We love our pastor. Lord, he's covered. He's covered. He's smothered. He's smothered. The angels. Surround him. surround him. They live with him. They, live with him. they drive with him. They drive. 
So I, listen, I want y'all to speak like y'all talking to the devil that I talk to in you. Because there are many days I prayed to six o'clock casting devils out of you. Asking the enemy, asking God to move the enemy off of you. Now, I want you to say this like you mean it. All stress. All stress. All threats. All threats. All tension. All tension. Off of my pastor. Off of my pastor. Off of this ministry. Off of this ministry. Off of the leaders. Off of the leaders. Off of the people. Off of the people. Off of me. Off of me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. This is not a request. I command it. I command it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Now shout and give God the glory. Precious Jesus. Church say amen. So God, I pray that because of whatever people are going through, that lets me know that the devil is getting ready to get a good old fashioned butt kicking in here. So every demon, every demon that's hearing my voice right now, I command you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost to go into a place of discomfort. I command you to now com I command you to attack yourselves. I command confusion to your camp. Yes. I command messages to be right now scrambled. Yes. And I command the glory of the Lord yes. rise among you. Y'all ready to have church? I believe we can do it now. Yeah. Amen. Thank the Lord. Got some sticky stuff on this thing. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Y'all come, y'all anybody come for a word today? Amen. Hallelujah. No more threats from the devil. Amen. Hey, Amen. Listen, let's just thank the Lord for everybody that is here today. Come on, let's thank the Lord. Amen. Let's thank the Lord for everybody that's here. That one got super glue on it. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Now, there may be some visiting, and we're so glad to have you. Amen. I'm so glad to see uh, my sister and my brother James and sister Nita with me today. Amen. Would y'all just stand up real quick, real quick, real quick. Just stand. Or wave your hand or something. Let everybody know you. So glad to have you. Amen. I don't know if there are any other visitors. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on, young man. Thank the Lord. Yeah, that's him with his hand up. Amen. Amen. So grateful. Amen. And Amen. we didn't get to share with you on last week, but uh, we're so blessed with all those who are celebrating birthdays. And I want to wish and bless the Lord today. I don't know. Uh, with all the anniversaries, I celebrate everybody, but Sister. Myrick, happy birthday to you today. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. That's all I want to say. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. We're not going to be long before you. There is a word in the house. Amen. I was so glad when I came in and heard the people call for prayer. Amen. Because I told you on last week, and I didn't know what I was asking for. It's time to blitz. Yes. We can't let off this time. Amen. Amen. God's That means, Amen. listen, I'm telling you now. God's getting ready to pour in something big for us. Every time we get attacked from some, and, and it's just amazing to me, the level of attack every day this week, it's been just high level tension over me. I've had people to meet with me, people to call me, people to do things. And to, I mean, everything you could imagine land on my shoulders and I felt the tension. I didn't feel like moving my arms. I did not feel, I don't know if you ever felt this kind of a oh, yeah. pressure or witchcraft. But I felt it, and last night as I went to bed, I put on warfare prayers, 
and let them play while I was sleeping. And um, sometimes you just got to soak yourself. You know, one day I do a teaching on the importance of praying in the midnight hour. Amen. Something different about praying Amen. in the midnight hour. Not that God only hears it, but it's something different about the midnight hour. Um, in the wee hours of the morning, it's a different place. Even in the Bible, the attacks against the enemy were done in the wee hours. It's so when you catch the enemies napping because he thinks you're napping. Amen. Amen. So yes, please be obedient. This is a call to prayer. Amen. This is a call because after the fight, we always get elevation. Amen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, amen. We're not going to hold you today. Amen. Everybody. Yes. Yes. Thank God. Not a visitor at all. Amen. Mother Fowler, glad you're here today. Y'all just thank God today. Amen. I didn't recognize her as a visitor because she's amen. not. But it's sure glad to see her. Amen. I'm sure glad to see her. Are y'all glad to see her? Minister John Till's mother. Amen. amen. She prayed for us too, y'all. And I know she's praying for me. Amen. Mother, I pray that you would do so this week like never before. Amen. 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 We're going to go forth today. Amen. Y'all ready for a word? I'm not going to hold you today. Amen. But we're going to go forth. To this week will be different in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, Deacon. We're going to get moving today. Amen. Uh, to see if there are any questions. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you, Brother Austin. Amen. Amen. All right. We're going to get to our letters, and we're not going to hold you. Amen. We're going to go forth. Amen. See what God does say of the Lord. Amen for us. Come on, brother. Amen. Pastor, please pray for my mother. I've been trying to get her to the church because I know she needs deliverance. This last year has been tough after losing her husband and ongoing issues between her and his children. She has nothing. She has had nothing but trouble in her body. She can't sleep without pills. She constantly complains of headaches, back pain, and now issues with her eyes. I know there's only so much that can be done if she doesn't come, but I can't stand to see her suffer so much. Mm. Is there anything I can do or share or scriptures I can share, prayers or anything? Yes. Let, let me just say this. Um, of course, preferably, we would wish that all would come. Amen? There's something about coming uh, to be here. And, and last week, we talked about the importance of being in the house. Didn't we talk about it? Amen? Then there are some people that think, you know, it don't require all of that. Amen. And they say, you can get it. At, why can't I serve God at home? You ever meet those people? Uh, uh, can I, I, can still, I can still love God and serve him, and I don't have to come to nobody's church. You ever hear people talk like that? Amen. Let, let me just say this to you. Let me just say this to you. Just a thought. Back in the 80s, I, I would guess it was the 80s, the video world, uh, meaning VHS tapes, all of that kind of was birthed. Anybody remember when we first read about, when was that? Come on, old folks, talk to me. 80, 80, 80, Early 80s, they launched videotapes. And then after, shortly thereafter, there was the beginning of your great franchises of uh, video stores. Mm -hmm. What was the first one? Blockbuster. Well, the big ones, you got Blockbusters, and there's a few others we used to go to. You know, video yeah, magic. Video, video Magic. Yeah, video That's ghetto magic. right there, I amen. <laughs> but I remember, because I think I still got a video that belonged to them. <laughs> amen. During that time, studies show, during that time, studies show that the movie industry were pulling their hair out. Because they felt that if five people could make a trip to the Blockbuster and get a movie, <coughs> then that would drastically cut the revenue they would receive from five people going to buy movie tickets. Well, they panicked for nothing. Because after the craze uh, came and went, they noticed that movie theater 
ticket sales did not drop. Even though it would be, it would seem that five people in one room would save a lot of money, the truth is people started to realize that there was something different about being in the atmosphere of a movie theater. Mm -hmm. Y'all get what I'm saying? Oh yeah. It's one thing to watch it at home, on your laptop, yeah. on YouTube, but how many of y'all will admit it's something different about being in the house? Yeah. Now, in events that you can't get mother to come, I want to go back through the letter and give you some tips. And believe me, there are some people here that need to hear this as well. Amen. Amen. Give me some of the things mama is dealing with. Amen. Um, this last year has been tough after losing her husband mm -hmm. and ongoing issues between her and his children. She has nothing but trouble in her body. Yes. She can't sleep without pills. All right, let me just say this. Right away, I need to explain something to you. If you notice a breakdown, and it, it's happening rapidly after the loss of her husband, okay? And I can already tell there's some division there. Because even how you refer to her husband as just being her husband, not your stepfather or nothing, just her husband and then his, his children. See, I can already see that. Y'all know what I'm talking. Say amen. Oh, yeah. And so I don't know what the details are, but clearly through his death, there's some type of disagreement. There's some uncomfort. There's a place of discomfort. And let me just say this. Number one, finish out what, is her, what are her issues? Uh, she can't sleep without pills. Okay. She constantly complains of headaches, back pain, and now issues with her eyes. Okay. Now, interesting. Because along with age, which all of our bodies will break down, sometimes we speed up the process, so to speak, because of what we allow to flow through us. Huh? We got to deal with this stuff, y'all. We can't let it sit. Amen. We cannot let it marinate. Amen. Now, Amen. let me take a moment while I'm on this topic of dealing with loss to thank God today. Um, our sister, I don't see her, but I know Brother... Austin is here, but your sister um, and your family suffered a loss on yesterday, and I, I don't see her here yet, but I want to keep in prayer Sister Lachey, Amen. who lost her father on yesterday. Amen? Amen. 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 So we want to keep in mind of that. But let me just say this. Stress is a demonic killer. This is why I told you to pray for me. Amen. Because the enemy, and I want you to get this, will cause people to torment you or spirits in people to drain you and torment you. Amen. Now, I think you said pain in the... Uh, headaches, back pain, and issues listen, with the eyes. Listen, let me just throw this out there because I can't stay long with this. When you get headaches mm -hmm. right up in here, almost like it's wrapping your, your head, that's usually a spirit of confusion. I'm telling you this. And if anybody know what I'm talking about, you felt it, you know what I'm talking about. It almost feels like a belt wrapping right around here. That is a confusion demon. And here's one thing you can do. I'm just giving you some tips so you can get mother here. Lay your hands on your head, or you don't have to, and command every demon of confusion yes. Out of your mind, out of your head, out of your body. And then do the necessary thing to make sure you're not adding to your own confusion. Amen. Because you can pray and still bring it in. Amen. 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 Headaches have different meanings, but many of them are related to attack, witchcraft, stress, tension, and the devil is a liar. Now, you mentioned that she lost somebody, so let me just make this clear. Whenever you're grieving, mm -hmm. when you grieve too long the wrong way, it is necessary to grieve. Amen. But when you grieve too long the wrong way, you invite issues to happen with your eyes. Amen. Psalm chapter 6. Listen to the book. In verse 7. See, they're not teaching us this, and we got to get it. Amen. The mm -hmm. Bible says he sent his word to heal. Amen. Amen. Listen to the book. Mine eye. Mine eye. Is consumed because of grief. You see, you can invite in spirits to attack your eyes 
for not dealing or from not dealing with grief or grief that has been prolonged, grief that is unattended to. It is natural and healthy to grieve, but not as though we have no hope. Amen. Do you hear that? Oh, yes. Sir. Now, the church is not telling us these things, but we need to know that God has given us a prescription. The antidote. That we got to deal with grief. Amen. Allow God to heal you. Allow God to make it better. And don't, listen, accept the, the healing. Because it's easy to hold on to the grief. Amen. Huh? Listen, some of you, you're grieving not because of death. Give me Samuel. Huh? You're not grieving because of death. You're grieving because of uh, first Samuel. You're grieving because of children. Issues in the house. Issues in the job. Amen. Oh, I was attacked. I'm trying to tell you, it's real. And so I need to go to the book of antidote, the book of healing, and find out what this can do. And if I'm telling the truth, I ought to be able to see this in the scriptures. First Samuel 3 and 2. I want you to watch this. How many of y'all remember this story? First Samuel 3 and 2. Amen. Listen. And it came to pass. Mm -hmm. At that time, when Eli was laid down in his place. Eli. Listen. And his eyes began to wax dim. Hold on. His eyes began to wax dim. That he could not see. That he could not see. Amen. Do you know why? Do you remember what happened to Eli? He was grieving over his children. Amen. See that? Verse Too one. much grief. Huh? Verse 1. Listen to the Bible, dude. And the child. And the child. Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. Come on. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. You see that? 